following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Well, this is a big anniversary date for me. I'll go through this uh, a little bit later. But January 20th, 1980 is the day that gold topped at 865. Uh, the first chart, of course, we start out is the DAX. You can see that very big ABCD. Oh, dear. I put, I put the chart in there. What happened? What's going on here? I put it in here before. Let's try it again. Okay. Had some interesting questions this morning. Okay. You can see the DAX, the big black line there, uh, the dark colored one you can see was a perfect ABCD. We rallied up exactly to the 78% uh, level. And since that time, uh, looking at this 15-minute chart, we've made a small you know, head and shoulders pattern, but the 78% level is the one uh, that uh, that really counts, you know, more than uh, anything else. Uh, I've also had a request to take a look at the treasury bonds here, and we'll bring this up uh, to this level. You'll see that the treasury bonds are almost making a 61% retracement. We're in the midst of a 10-day sell-off. Uh, that's a 61% retracement from the 61% retracement on the weekly chart. So this level of 150 is really important. We hit 149.31 uh, last night. So it's very, very, uh, very, very key level here. We've rallied almost uh, $1,000 off of that low uh, so far this morning. Okay, the first question that someone's asked me is, how did I ever get started in this business? Well, folks, you have to go back, and I'm going to bring this because I've had three questions, and they all line up together. First question is, uh, how did I get started in this business? The second question is, what was the best trade per dollar amount that I ever did? And uh, he also asked a question, uh, what was the worst trade I ever did? I won't be able to do the worst trade because it would take me all through the month of January, February, March, and April to go through those. But uh, the good one I can certainly remember. And then, of course, uh, they asked what was the, my most, uh, one of my most memorable, memorable days. Uh, oh, no, no, no. The question was, what was the most money I ever made on a one-contract trade in a short period of time, and that was January 20th, 1980. But how I got started in this business, you have to go back to 1964, back in Indiana, when I was going to school. I was getting a master's degree in finance, and uh, I had a statistics professor, Jim Noblet, who was from Yale, and he was a mathematician. Uh, the problem was he was a trader. He didn't really care about statistics, but he related everything in that statistics class to the stock market and also some commodity markets like corn, wheat, soybeans, and stuff like that. We weren't even, we had just started trading uh, silver and cattle uh, at that time, so he wasn't really um, doing any cattle, but he was certainly looking at the silver market. And what he said to us in class, he says, there's only a few times in the history of investing that you can put money up with a great deal of profit potential and absolutely no risk. And so everybody in the class seemed to be interested, and he related to the story about how Lyndon Johnson, who had taken over from John Kennedy, was going to take out our silver stockpiles and give them back to the uh, to the people. And what they were going to do is he took a silver certificate that you don't see these anymore, but it said pay to the bear and demand one ounce of silver. And so they had, uh, you know, he had one, fives, tens, and 20 silver certificates. And um, all you had to do was to, uh, silver was trading at about $1.29 at that point. So you were basically making 29% on your money with zero down risk because you were buying them at face value and you couldn't lose anything because you could still spend the money. So all you had to do was to collect these silver certificates. And he said in uh, 18 months, he said in 1966, he said, we are going to be able to go to the mint and return these silver certificates for silver. And he said, I think 
silver will be at least double the price that it is now. So in a period of two years, you could make 100% on your money. Well, I said, that makes good sense. And I finished that class and did one other class with him. But as I started to watch the price of silver, it went up from $1.29 to about $1.40. But you could still get these silver certificates uh, in the stores. You could walk into a, like a pharmacy like Walgreens or um, you know, Woolworth stores or supermarkets, and if you gave them some new new bills, you could get silver certificates, you know, real easy. But people didn't realize that these were, you know, now they were at a dollar forty nine. It was a fifty percent premium. Well, the kids in the class, uh, some of them put together little cartels where they raised, uh, you know, ten twenty thousand dollars from their relatives, and they started doing this. But I had a, a really big edge because my grandfather's brother happened to be the fellow who worked for the Chicago um, uh, organization that ran football cards and, and baseball cards. And also, you guys don't remember these because they don't exist anymore, but the thing were called punch boards. They were in all the bars, and the person would go in and you'd punch it out for a dollar, and you might win as much as $100. Well, uh, there were 200 punches on the board, and it was a dollar, so it was $200 taking in, and uh, the punch board gave back $100, so it was making 100%, and he, they would go through these things, I mean, every week, and remember, this is when the minimum wage was, uh, I believe, a dollar and a quarter at that time, so this was really, you know, serious money that, that was being taken in, so he had a great deal of cash. And what happened is we got closer to the uh, 1966 time period. Silver went up to uh, it went up to 250. When it got to 250, everybody was really realizing that uh, this son of a gun was going to be pretty good. So you couldn't get these silver certificates anymore. But Uncle Chuck, he had a whole Ellis Island truck full of them. So I went to him and I said, "Give me 10 grand, and I'll bring you 10 grand back." Because in Indianapolis, they, these people would open up these stores where they would buy silver certificates for two dollars and silver was selling for 250 so you're making 100 percent on your money and they're making a 25 percent just in a day because you know that's what the price of silver was so i took the 10 grand over i got my 25,000 and i brought it back and i gave him the 10,000 and i put the rest and i he says let's do it again so i did it again and i kept doing it again and again and we finally did over a six weeks period silver took off and it, it rallied a dollar a barrel a dollar a barrel a dollar an ounce to 350 and uh, over the period of that uh, eight week time frame i uh, i i rolled over uh, 47,000 uh, was my share cash at forty-seven thousand dollars to someone is twenty in the early twenties, in night you know this is ridiculous. Nineteen sixty-six, uh, I mean this was a lot of money. You could buy a really nice house for nineteen thousand. A Corvette was twenty-nine hundred, so you can see how much that was. Uh, now my college, uh, you know, I, I was already out of college. I just finished my master's degree. Okay, that is how that turned out. It worked out pretty good. That's how I got started in uh, wanting to do this business, and uh, that's and I rolled that over to some other serious money and. Then I gave it all back, and that re brings us down to uh, the period of 19. So we have to get into the break here a little bit, but I hope you enjoy this because someone's asked these questions, and since I have to fill up the time, I want to be able to uh, explain to you the history of how I went through some of this. But the next segment segment is uh, how I uh, came back from uh, uh, the brink of disaster. 877-927-6648. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed 
Lyft has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Okay, now for the second part of this uh, question that was asked, what was my biggest percentage win uh, on a percentage basis? And that goes back to, we have to get back into early 1976. Uh, before that, I should tell you that I took that the money that I had. I bought my mother a uh, truck. I paid for their house. And um, what else did I do? I put some money back for something, but I uh, had a lot of fun along the way but I was making money because I I was I was basically you know starting to trade futures and I found out about pork bellies I didn't know I understand the short side until about 1967 and uh, then I started trading both sides of the market but I ran that money up uh, to quite a bit uh, seven figures and that was into July of uh, 1973 Three was the yeah July 1973 was the high I had taken it to uh, quite a bit it was in seven figures uh, exactly 1.25 is what I had made and uh, the July 1973 I remember going into the Beverly Hills I was still I was working for Eli Lilly but I was trading at Conti Commodities in the West LA. Uh, where all the market wizards were working. There was Bruce Covener, Ed Sakota, Ricky the Rocket Barnes, uh, Jay Cross. I mean, there was just a whole bunch of them that were out of there. They were all young kids. I mean, that's really what we were. But I went to the Beverly Hills um, auto dealership for Mercedes-Benz, and I bought a, uh, a black uh, 350 SL uh, two-door two uh, Mercedes. That was the little sports car that was very, very SLC uh, that was very popular. That was $11,500. That was like out of petty cash for me. And I always wanted one of those cars, and so I bought it. Unfortunately, it wasn't going to be delivered until the following year because they were already sold out. Well, when time for delivery came, I was in, I was in Tap City. 
I didn't have any money, so I had to go to Beverly Hills and tell them that I'm not going to take delivery of the car. So I went into the dealership, and the guy, uh, I, I didn't say anything, and he's come up to me, and he said, hey, he said, how would you like to, um, to uh, sell that car back to me? And I hadn't even bought it yet. And I said, what do you want? And he said, he said I'll pay you $1,000 if I can buy the car. And I said, sure. And I, I was there hoping to get my $500, or it was a $1,000 deposit back. And uh, so I got that back. Anyway, uh, after I made some so many stupid mistakes. I gave all the money back. But believe me, I, I spent a lot. Uh, over that eight-year period, so don't don't feel bad for me. It was just my trading account that was uh, decimated. It went to uh, minus 2,800 in October 1974. I got blown out in the cattle and, and soybean meal markets, limit down, uh, and I got stopped out right after the opening limit down. They ended up being limit up, and that was the start of the big bull market. But they they did it without me. Uh, back in those days, you could trade in your account with a debit balance because we didn't have the CFTC uh, as of yet, and so it was uh, it was up to the firms. And since I had made a lot of money and paid a lot of commissions, they allowed me to trade out of the debit. I found a nice little pattern in the uh, pork bellies. I always like to buy those 61% retracements in over a two-day period. I made back the 2,800. And I closed the account, and I didn't trade again for almost uh, 13 months. Here's where we get to the 13 months part. I met Don Mack, uh, who gave me the Bra uh, the Gartley book in 1970, and I had always looked at it. But now I had to look at it because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I mean, I was buying stuff that was going down, you know, and selling stuff that was going up. So I really didn't understand the technical analysis the way that I should. So I went back to see Dr. Noblet. He just laughed at me. And he said, you think this has not happened to other people? He said, just go back and look and see what you did wrong and stop making those same mistakes and you're going to be okay. And I found this absolute fabulous pattern in soybean oil and soybeans. And by that by that time, I had a mentor, um, Dave Nelson, who, who wrote a, a special newsletter about soybeans. He was a fundamentalist and uh, he was extremely bullish on soybeans for 1976 and 1977, and now we're coming into late uh, 1975, and there was a soybean oil spread. In other words, you could buy July soybean oil and sell December soybean oil for $90. Uh, that was the total cost of the, of, the, of the contract, and the margin on it was only $100. So you could buy a contract for $100. Your total risk was $90. And so I started to look at this Gartley pattern. And I said, yeah, this looks pretty good. And one thing led to another, and I told my uh, attorney, and I told my uh, my doctor, and they told friends and a whole bunch of other people. Anyway, they started accumulating these spreads. And they also did it in July, November beans, but the main one was in July, uh, November, so July, December soybean oil. And so at one time, uh, we uh, – we had thousands of them on. I mean, because the, the position limits were 400 at that time. And two of the doctors uh, that I had given uh, the information to had uh, over 200 contracts each. So this was a huge position. And on a Friday, uh, the spread was always staying at around a 90, between 90 cents and a dollar. Hadn't moved at all. And on one Friday, right before the close, the July option, which I was long, jumped up 60 pips. And the December option dropped down 60 pips. That was 120 points. That was $600 in a $100 investment on one day. And, of course, Reuters came out with this machine uh, on their machine and teletype and said, oh, wow, what an ab aberration in the soybean. Oh, you know, this will all be corrected, you know, on Monday morning. And so, you know, here I'm making six times my money, and I know I'm going to lose it all on Monday morning. And so I said, oh, we'll wait and see what happens. And my friend Dave, who said – he said, don't be afraid. He said, it's just starting. Monday morning comes in. One second. I have to take a drink. And uh, instead of the soybean oil correcting, it stayed the same all day long. And then right at the close, up 30, down 30. It did that for 18 days in a row. And uh, that $90 went 40 times to 4000 and that's what got me my job at Drexel Burnham. They uh, they had been following, you know, what had been happening here, and so they asked me to work for them. And that's it. Let's get back to where we are to 19. 
Oh, shucks, we've wasted a lot of time today. Anyway, uh, we get into night. I'm not even going to be able to finish it because of the break. We get into the big day, which was uh, January 20th, 1980. And the gold is trading at $865 an ounce, up $65. The limit was $50. All options were uh, limit up all the way through December of 1980, which was trading because of interest rates being high, was trading at above $1,000 an ounce. That's the first time silver or gold had ever gone above $1,000 an ounce on the futures. The spot high was 865 and so uh, I had made a lot of money in gold and silver for Drexel and some other stuff because I was bullish some of these things during 1976 through 1980. And so the problem was I had been buying gold at around 250, and I got all I got of all the gold with ex with the exception of a few positions for my customers at around the 650 level. I thought that was going to be the high. I only missed it by $225. And uh, so it was still going up. And um, But on this particular day, every option was limit bid. I mean, it was just, uh, you know, everything was limit bid. And we were clearing our trades at Drexel Burn, and we cleared through Goldberg Brothers on the uh, New York uh, commodity market. What was it called? It's called the NYMEX, I believe. Anyway, I'll finish this story when we get back, and we'll get back to the markets. Thanks for putting up with this, but I have to answer the questions. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, we're almost done. It's January the 20th. Gold is trading at 865, up $65 an ounce. The price limits were $50. So all limits, uh, all of it was February, April, uh, July, August, September, December, all of them were trade limit up bid. And uh, we were clearing through Goldberg Brothers in New York. And I was sitting there, and as usual, on a uh, in the morning, it was around 9.30 in the morning, as I remember, my friend, uh, the actor, Ty Andrews from the, um, um, uh, whoa, whoa, this is not good. <laughs> I can't remember the series. This is, this is terrible. Uh-oh, we've got a uh, Mod Squad, the Mod Squad. He was Captain Greer on the Mod Squad, and uh, I was uh, showing him. I was watching. I'd been I'd been hand charting because we didn't have the computer stuff. I'd been hand charting gold, and I had a three drive to a top pattern at 860, and it was trading at 865. And so he was sitting there with me, and we were, you know, just uh, having coffee. And I was talking to Richie Goldberg uh, at Goldberg Brothers, the youngest one. And I said, Richie, I said, what's going on in the pit? I said, anybody there, or is it just lock limit? He said, Are you kidding me? He said, They're belly to brisket. He said. They're, they're packed in here so much you couldn't fall down. And I said, you're kidding me. I said, you mean there's a lot of volume going on? He said, huge amounts of paper. And I said, lock limit up. There's a huge amount of paper. And uh, he said, yeah. And I said, sell me two December, uh, you know, uh, December 1980 uh, uh, contracts. I think it was 1017 is what it was roughly, roughly, roughly the price. And uh, I said, just sell it for me. And he said, uh, are, he, he said, are you are you kidding me, Larry? He says, you're you're one of our best customers. Don't do that. You're going to lose a lot of money. And I said, Richie, I said, how long have you been down there on the floor? And he said, oh, almost nine months now. I said, oh, okay, Richie. I said, uh, sell me two. And he said something with a had some expletives that I can't mention here at TFNN. So he sold them to me, and he said, "Oh, take it." And I said, "Wait, wait, Richie." I said, "Wait." And he said, "What is it?" And I said, "I want you to buy me two of them, limit down." He said, "Are you kidding me?" He said, "They won't even take the order." I said, "Give it to your brother. He'll take the order." So he put the order to buy it, limit down, which was a hundred dollars from the high to the low, fifty dollars up, fifty dollars down, and. Uh, and the only reason I did that is, you know, I thought maybe you know, there'd be a big break or something. So I, I hung up the phone, and Tig says, you know, I, I'd like to have one of those too. So I called back, and I did another one. And uh, he said, boy, he says, you've really lost it. He said, we really hate to see this. <laughs> and uh, before we knew it, uh, it couldn't have been more than a half hour later we were filled, limit down, which was a, a move of a little over $10,000 in about 45 minutes. So that was my biggest my biggest win. That was the end of the questions. Let's get back to the markets. I want to show you that what's going on here. We have a big difference in, in what's happening in some of these markets. You'll notice the Dow Jones uh, E-mini here. We're barely having a rally. We've made new highs uh, in the NASDAQ up here at this uh, 1.618 expansion level. So we want to watch this uh, very, very closely. And uh, we'll see how, you know, some of these others, uh, you know, end up right now. But we're going to watch it uh, just with a little bit of interest, of course, and we'll see how it uh, works out. Let's take a look here at the uh, New York Stock Exchange Index. If you want to, if you ever believe in Fibonacci, folks, just take a look since the beginning of the year uh, with the uh, New York Stock Exchange Index. This is the real market. You'll notice the first retracement was almost exactly 50%. The one yesterday was exactly 61% retracement from the low uh, on uh, 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 New Year's Eve. I mean, to the tick. And now we're having a you know a pretty good uh, rally back. You'll see the rally back into the 13th was exactly 78% to the tick. I mean, these are... You can't make this stuff up, folks. This is just doesn't happen that way. Okay, let's go on to the next one that we want to be watching, and that is our gold market. Um, our gold market is under a really interesting time here because, as you can see here, let's just put this up. We'll be able to look at it. Uh, we covered this yesterday. Is We've made equal moves now. We did the same thing in silver. Silver came down $0.45. Cents. Those were equal moves. Gold came down $20. Uh, all the moves have been 17 to $20 over that time. So any move below 11.95 in the gold would suggest that we're going to go, you know, a great deal, uh, a great deal lower. So uh, keep an eye uh, on that because it's a very interesting uh, 
situation. Now, the Dow Jones is really being influenced by the uh, – there's several stocks. You know, IBM is down, but uh, – and a couple others are down, and then a couple others are up. So it's it's really a uh, – it's really a uh, interesting time to uh, to be watching it. So we'll see. Now, there's a lot of resistance here, folks, at that uh, 5075 in the Russell – uh, excuse me, in the, uh, the NASDAQ uh, on, on that. We, we posted that chart yesterday. I think I still have it here. Let's take a look at it because I believe that it is still in vogue. Yeah, here we are. Let's just take a look at it, and we'll see if this is going to be, uh, again, I don't know what the high has been so far because I can't check prices as I'm watching, but uh, we should have some pretty good resistance up here at this uh, 19, or excuse me, 5,074 to 5,085 level. That's what I would be uh, watching. So that's uh, neither here nor there. Uh, there is one other pattern that's really interesting here, folks, uh, that I was looking at uh, early this morning, and that is the pattern that is in the E-mini S&P because we have one of those patterns known as the uh, 135 pattern, and you're going to be able to see it here really quickly. Take a look at it. And we'll see what's going on here. And you'll notice here that uh, we are possibly making a 135 pattern uh, just about spot on uh, in the E mini SP. If this is going to be, if this is going, it hit it exactly. Wow. Uh, there, we'll see if it's any good here at 2272. We'll, uh, we'll see if that's going to mean anything, but we'll wait and see. Okay. The next question that someone had was a stock that I don't have a chart on it, but I can give you a pretty good, oh, wait a minute, I do have the, st the chart on it, give me one second here, and I will bring it up, and that is the old Twitter, hold on just a second, and we'll take a look at Twitter here, this is a stock that I just don't understand why it it's not soaring because with the president elect using it all the time, they're getting free advertisement every day, and yet the stock is just not acting very well at all. There must be something coming out to, to take Twitter off the map because you'll notice that the last rallies, uh, the one we had in December, went exactly to a 382 retracement, and the one we had this two weeks ago uh, also went to a 382 retracement, and the market is still you know, acting very, very poorly. So that's not a good sign. For Twitter, this thing should have, you know, during the time when it got up to 25, everybody wanted to buy it because there was a big buyout, and we had that big A, B, C, D pattern up in there, and then you can see on one day it went from 25 down to 20. It dropped 20%, and that was just half of where it was going. So remember, these markets can go uh, a little bit crazy at times, so watch it very, very closely. And he will be able to see what he'll find something else to do without it. And even if he doesn't do without it, who knows? We'll see what happens with, with some of these things. But we'll watch it very, very closely here, of course. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the next question or the next chart that we want to cover, which is we need to get into the dollar index, folks. I still believe that the whole key to this whole quagmire of everything we're looking at is here with this dollar index. And it's uh, for me, it's quite simple. And we will cover that when simplicity returns at six minutes after the hour, 877-927-6648. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. 
TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the global market pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, sponsored by Nadex. Up next on TFNN. Okay, we're going to talk here a little bit about this dollar index. As you can see, we completed an ABCD uh, correction down there at that 100.50 level. Uh, we've been in a little bit of a trading net range of about a point now over the last three days. This is extremely important, folks, because uh, we're either making a 135 pattern on the dollar index saying it's going to go lower, or this is an ABCD move that is exactly equal to the move that we had during the October-November period. It went from 99 down to 96. We dropped three points. Well, what did we do this time? We went from 103.90 to 101.40, almost exactly three points. So uh, this is a very, very important spot here if you believe in harmony, if you believe in symmetry, if you believe in mother God and country. This is it because uh, if we get below 100 point. Zero, zero, we're going to go down at least to 97, which would be a 61% retracement of the move from August. So this is what's going to be interesting uh, to watch. Of course, uh, all of this is based on, uh, you know, what we're looking at here uh, in the euro, because if the euro can get above the uh, 108 level, uh, we're trading at 106 and change like 10670 right now. If we can get about another 100, 120 pips higher above this 108 level, this is telling us that this market has made a major bottom down here at the 10350 level. So right now is a giant battle going on in the U.S. dollar index versus the euro. We're also seeing it in the Mexican peso that uh, not many people trade it, but there's a lot of business that goes on through that. It's trading at 22 pesos to the dollar. And, of course, the Chinese renminbi is getting close to 7. Any breakout in the Chinese renminbi above 7 would suggest possibly, you know, the main thing of what we're looking at uh, of this thing that we're watching here. So, anyway, just keep an eye on some of these. We're at some real critical levels to look for, and uh, that's uh, the main thing. They're just numbers, nothing more than that, and uh, we watch them one at a time. That's all we can really do. Next week, we're going to have our good friend uh, Bill Meridian on the line. And uh, we'll also try to have our good friend uh, Shane Smolian come on uh, to give us a little bit of an update on some of these things. And we'll also have Rich Anderson on next week. Uh, he'll be down into warmer weather, so he'll be able to be reached uh, a little bit more easily. Now, I wanted to just restart. We started the week with this chart. I wanted to go in and, and remind you 
the importance of it because it really shows you that this ju it's not just a, a stock market, folks. It's a market of stocks. And if you'll notice this, uh, this move since November the 7th in the Dow went 20 50, 2,050 points, 1,987 of those points was done by these 16, 15 stocks because Johnson & Johnson didn't even move at all. So you can see the 15 stocks took uh, half of the move, uh, almost all of the move in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And that's because these are price weighted. Look at Goldman Sachs. I mean, uh, the, the financials are actually starting, we're seeing, we're seeing rotation. We're actually seeing rotation in some of these things, and that's the uh, the main thing that you want to keep uh, keep an eye on. So, those are the things that we want to keep an eye on this morning. At least uh, keep an eye on it. If we look at this banking index, you'll see here is what happened here. Uh, we've had a very big sell-off. This is where we were on a Sunday night. I wanted to bring this to your attention. Of course, we had a a big move in that, and we were watching the of course the stock of uh, Goldman Sachs at that time. And uh, you'll notice that the Goldman Sachs has uh, dropped off the bottom of the chart. We're trading around, uh, early this morning, we were trading around uh, 231. So it's gone from 247 to 231 in just a matter of a week. This was the leader of the pack on the way up. So there's signs that you got to pay a little bit of attention up in this area to, to get an idea of uh, what's uh, what's going on with some of these things. Now, we've had a, another question uh, about the uh, platinum market. I don't follow this very often, but I'll bring this to your attention here. Uh, as far as the gold and silver, you'll notice the, uh, the platinum this week, you know, we hit a 78% retracement uh, on a Tuesday, and uh, we're down over $50 an ounce this week. And so this is telling us that this is a possibility here of a major top here. Uh, this past week uh, on Tuesday in the uh, in the platinum because of the fact that it didn't follow through and break through that 78% level. And also the move that we had from December to January was just like the move we had between October and November. Again, the market is showing you the symmetry that's there and that it makes it, uh, you know, very, very interesting to see if it's going to, uh, you know, to work that way. Anyway, that's what we're watching. And uh, we'll see how that works out. And we'll do one thing after another here and then go on to the next one we're going to look at, which will be the uh, British pound. And um, I, I would want to be, yes, uh, Danny, you're, you're absolutely right. I want to be a buyer of gold uh, because basically I want to see if it can get down uh, to the 11.75 level, I'd like to see $34 off, which will be the 382 retracement. Your risk there is going to be very, very small. And if gold is really bullish, and if gold is really bullish, it's going to hold that level. So keep an eye on that because it's got a chance, you know, to do the uh, do the main thing here. So watch it closely. It's got a shot here uh, to uh, make a look at. We got a lot of things happening with the dollar, the bonds, the gold. I mean, stocks. I mean, this is a big day. Not just because of the inauguration, but the fact that we've got so many of these patterns that are lining up that it's just, uh, you know, spot on scary. So uh, be careful. It's very interesting. Uh, as you'll notice here last night, uh, I wanted to show you what happened yesterday in the uh, in the the Dow Jones E Mini when we came down. You'll notice that we made a, a beautiful A B C D pattern down there at uh, 1962. We rallied about 100 points off the bottom. But remember, this is uh, this this had been the leader, folks. Remember, and that's mainly because we, what we just showed you. It's because of those financial, those 15 stocks, and now that some of those 15 stocks are rolling over. So you're seeing this rotation. So when they're when they're trying to feed you information on the financial channels, remember that this is not always what they're telling you because the Dow Jones is only really 30 stocks, and of those, 15 are running the whole show. So keep an eye on it. That's uh, the main thing that you want to be watching, in my opinion, whether that means much or not. You know, we'll have to wait and see, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Okay, the next question that someone asked was about the British pound, and we'll put the British pound up because here again, we're going to be looking at something that uh, this is a little late because I didn't get to update this this morning. You'll see here that we hit the 382 retracement at this 122.50 level. We came down and tested it one more time. We got down to 122.85 last night and has held relatively well. But frankly, this looks like it's setting up for an ABCD Gartley 
down to the 121.50 level, which would be a 61% retracement of the British pound. And that would get you spot on to where you would be taking a very close look at it because at that point, you'd be looking at a really good head and shoulders pattern uh, at that point. So that's mainly what we want to uh, to be looking at uh, as far as we're, as we're watching the uh, the British pound. The, uh, your, uh, the Japanese yen has, uh, you know, held up extremely well here and has got up to that 155 and change level. Let's put this in so we can take a look at it. We got at 115, I mean. We got up to the 115 level in the Japanese yen, and now we're starting to work back, heading towards that uh, movement to the upside, too. So we got to watch that one. We get above 115.50 in the yen, we'll be looking at 117 very quickly, in my opinion. 877-927-6648. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we've got a possible setup here for you for next week uh, in uh, Netflix. You can see this big gap up that we had. We closed right at the low of the range yesterday. We didn't open lower today, but uh, if the market stays near the low today and leaves a gap on the opening, uh, that's going to leave an island reversal, the most bearish pattern in all of candlestick trading. And I would just like to show you another example of one of these. Uh, you'll notice here in the IWM, 
Uh, let's try it again, Larry. The biotech index, IBB, we had an island reversal back in July, the same type of a pattern uh, that occurred. You notice the market broke down quite a bit, rallied to try to get into that gap, and then, you know, totally came apart. So the reason why it's good is because not many people believe in these types of patterns and they catch everybody by surprise. So keep an eye on Netflix, you know, something that uh, you might look at because it does have a lot of options and you can buy these, you know, without a great deal of, uh, of problems. So, uh, you know, that's another one that looks, uh, you know, pretty good. So that's what I would be watching you know, very, very closely. That's a thing that I think would be uh, at least very interesting from a, uh, sh uh, a trading standpoint. But it has to it has to gap down. That's the whole key uh, is that the market has to gap down uh, either Monday or Tuesday if it does. If it doesn't, then, you know, it's going to run. But if it goes down and doesn't gap, it's not an island reversal. You must have that gap. This is a big day here at the at the old homestead here in Tucson. We are putting our flag up uh, today, uh, much to the chagrin of a couple of our neighbors, but uh, this is what we're going to do. We've got to support our new administration regardless of who they are. I can't remember who got elected. Was it the girl or the boy? Oh, it was the boy. Okay, we'll see what happens with this. But no matter what, we're going to pull through it or not. This is the first time in the history that we've never had a politician or a military man running the country. Got to be bullish on America, boys and girls. So we'll see what's going to happen in here. And we'll see what's going on with some of these other things. And we'll go from the other thing. All right, that's basically it. Um, okay, what else do we have? That's it. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.